Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> we need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth into you. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Did you have something to do with his death? Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to your dense party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. Convince me then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Your father, Hill, and me. We ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. Never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I need you coherent, or you would be gone already. <laughs> oh, there it is. That Wayne streak. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha... She had the human touch. Think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. <sighs> yeah. Well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. What, you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that the They're waiting for you in hell! The bastard had to die. Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close, we were this close. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. 
just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. That details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Someone planned this for a reason. But even if that's true, the simple fact is she gunned him down in his hospital bed. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Uh. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. still visible beneath her skin. A fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talked big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an ejection site on your neck. Then I just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off, and all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't, they were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I, I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Wh what are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? Sorry, Vicky, I can't talk to the press. Your lips are moving. 
Words are coming out? You know what I mean. Word is there were shots fired, near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Always digging for a story, huh? So it's true? I didn't say that. Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. You're fishing. You don't have anything. Now if you'll excuse me. You should talk to me, Bruce. This is coming out whether you stonewall me or not. Either Cobblepot drugged Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... messy. They were out of control. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. Considering the amount they stole from Falcone, they could build a small army of remorseless assassins. The thought is chilling. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Ah! <laughs> 
Pathfinder now! Send a strong message. 